you'd have to go back about 15,000 years. <laughs> so if you don't mind, <laughs> we'll take a brief uh, past history as to how we even had agriculture. So um, it began by accident, of course, maybe 20,000 years ago, maybe even earlier than that, when, when hunter-gatherers got tired, I guess, or stumbled upon a crop. And that crop said, you know, you guys don't have to look around for food anymore if you learn how to take care of the crop. And these crops varied, but mostly it was wheat, and it was mostly in the Middle East. So, but the crop, as it's been described since then, actually trapped us into taking care of it by domesticating it. So we became sort of parasitized by our food. <clears throat> Rather than chasing it and hunting it down, now we, we can grow it. But in order to grow it, we have to water it, and we have to take care of it. All right? So that's when we learned how to do this. It took 10,000 years. So that's a fast forward <laughs> to today. How is agriculture doing today? <laughs> it's the same, only we've uh, invented lots of different ways of doing that. You know, we've got machines that plow our fields and plant the corn and uh, weed the fields and harvest the corn and take care of the excess that we don't eat and peel the corn and shuck the corn and you know and if you read Michael Pollan's books you'll realize that corn <laughs> we're made out of corn so <laughs> we're basically C4 plants turned into animals uh, once again we we appear to be trapped by a, a, a crop this corn crop and wheat crop uh, rice crop if you look at the amount of effort that goes into producing the food that we eat, it's heroic in terms of it's really pushing a very large square peg into an ever-narrowing round hole until finally that hole is going to shut and then we'll still have the square peg. In fact, there are no natural places for crops. We've invented all those places and that's part of our current dilemma is that our population continues to grow as the result of a reliable food source in many, many places, many, many different kinds of food, but nonetheless, you've seen what happens over the last 10,000 years. Our population jumped from several million to several billion. Mm -hmm.